Hi friend, I am Sudip. Welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy MCQ Guide. Today we discuss about the topic prostaglandin and leukotriene MCQ. Twenty selective and important questions are discussed in this topic. Now the first question is, what is the definition of prostaglandin? What is the definition of prostaglandin? What do you mean by the leukotrienes? Actually, chemically, prostaglandin is a cyclic oxygenated compound. It also contains 20 carbon atom. And it is one type of unsaturated fatty acid. Means the unsaturation or double bond present in these derivatives. So, prostaglandin and leukotrienes is one type of inflammatory mediator so now the first question is now the first question is who discover postaglandin first who first discover postaglandin option number one Ulf von Euler option number two Robert Hooke option number three Williamson option number D Oswald Smithybark. The right answer is Ulf von Euler is the first scientist who discovered the postaglandins. Now the next question is the discovery year of postaglandin. What is the discovery year of the postaglandins? Option number A 1935, option number B 1940, option number C 1945, option number D 1960. Now the right answer is option number A, 1935. The first postaglandin is found in human semen. Human semen. So the discovery year of 1935. Option number A is the right answer. Next question, question number 3. The number of the carbon atom present in the prostanoic acid. At first, what do you mean by the prostanoic acid? Actually, prostanoic acid is the precursor of prostaglandins. So, pro option number A, 20, option number B, 15, option number C, 25, option number D, 30. So, the right answer is 20. The prostanoic acid contains the 20 carbon atom. <laughs> option number A is the right answer. Question number 4. In case of the inflammatory bowel disease, which type leukotriene level increase? Actually, the leukotriene is one type of inflammatory mediator. And leukotriene is various types. Number 1 is LTB4. Number B is LTC4. Number D is LTD4. And number D is LTE4. So, in various types of, include this, various types of the leukotriene derivatives. Which derivatives present in inflammatory bowel conditions option number a ltb4 type leukotriene when ltb4 type leukotriene level increase inflammatory bowel disease also occurs okay so the right answer is option number a ltb4 now question number five give an example of the pge2 derivative actually pg means postaglandin Postaglandin is not a single compound. It belongs to family. Means PG, A, B, C, D, E, F in various types. In this type, PG, E2, PG, I2, PG, D2 and PG, F2 alpha, PG, E1. These five postaglandin derivatives are more common and important in various functions. So, option number A, dinoprostin. Option number B, eproprostenol. Option number C, alprostadil. Option number D, carboprost. This char option is one type of prostaglandin. Now, the right answer is option number A, dinoprostin. Dinoprostin belongs to PGE2 derivative. Means PG types of the prostaglandin. But eproprostenol belongs to PGE1 derivative of prostaglandin. Alprostadil is, alprostadil is, PG1 type of prostaglandin. 
carbon prost is PGF2 alpha type of prostaglandin. So the right answer is option number A, dinoprostin. Question number 6. Given example of the antiprogestin drug used to induce the first week of the pregnancy. Now at first we discuss the some prostaglandin derivatives also help the facilitation of the labor or pregnancy. So given example of antiprogestin drug means which activity against the progesterones. Now the option number A, misoprostenol, option number B, dinoprostin, option number C, mifeprostin, option number D, both A and B. These three compounds, A, B, C, also used to facilitate the pregnancy. But antiprogestin drug, example is option number C, mifeprostin is the example of antiprogestin drug which used to induce the first week of the pregnancy. So, option number C is the right answer. Question number 7. Which postaglandin derivatives used for the treatments of peptic ulcer? Okay. Option number A, n -prostyl. Option number B, latanoprost. Option number C, l -prostyl. Option number D, beta-prost. n -prostyl. PG is one type of the PGE2 derivative. Latanoprost is one type of the PGF2 alpha derivative. Alprosteril is one type of the PGE1 derivative. And Viraprost is one type of the PG1, uh, PG, PG, E1 derivatives. So, the right answer is option number C. Sorry. So, the right answer is Option number A, n prostyl n prostyl this is the n prostyl is the right answer. Option number A, n prostyl is one type of the PGE2 derivative which is used for the treatments of the postaglandin. PGE2 derivative also have an defensive mechanism against the peptic ulcer because it decreases the ACL secretion and it also increases the mucus production and the mucus secretions. Question number 8. Give an example of long-acting PGF2 alpha derivatives. Long-acting. Option number A. Trophoprost. Option number B. Bimatoprost. Option number C. Latanoprost. Option number D. Alprostadil. Actually, Trophoprost, Bimatoprost, Latanoprost. These three compounds and includes the PGF2 alpha derivatives. And option number D, alprostadil, is one type of PGE1 derivatives. So, in three types of the prostaglandin, trovapost, bimatopost, latanoprost, the right answer is option number C, latanoprost. Latanoprost is one type of PGF2 alpha derivatives. Question number 9, the main side effect of the PGE2 derivatives. Total PGE2 derivative ka main side effect kya hota hai? The main side effect of the PGE2 derivative is Option number A, water and diarrhea. Option number B, dry cough. Option number C, mouth ulcer. Option number D, kidney damage. The right answer is water and diarrhea because PGE2 derivative have also produces the liquid, watery liquid deposition in the colon. So it produces the water and diarrhea. So option number A is the right answer. Question number 10. Which derivatives used to treat the erectile dysfunctions? Erectile dysfunction means one types of the importance. Okay. Option number A. Alprostadil. Option number B. Epoprostenol. Option number C. Bimatoprost. Option number D. Biraprost. The option of the right answer is option number A. Alprostadil. Option number A. Alprostadil is one type of PGE1 derivative which is used to treat the erectile dysfunction. Why? But why? PGE1 derivative also have the muscle relaxant property. For this reason, it, it is used to treat the erectile dysfunctions. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 11. Which G protein carpal messenger applicable for PGI2 derivatives? Actually, all types of prostaglandin derivatives all types of the postaglandin derivatives also maintain the 
G protein couple receptor pathway. Actually, G protein couple receptor is generally two type ka pathway hota uska. Number one is GS pathway. Number two is GQ type pathway. Okay. So which PGI2 derivative, postaglandin derivatives, okay. The PGI2 derivative maintain which type of G protein messenger? Option number A, GS type. Option number B, GQ type. Option number C, both. Option number D, none. PGI2 derivative also maintain the GS type pathway because it also increases the cyclic AMP level. It acts by increasing the cyclic AMP level. But in case of the GQ type pathway, some postaglandin derivative also increases the IP3 level, DAG level. IP3 DAG is one type of secondary messenger. Okay, so the right answer is option number A, GS type pathway. PGI2 derivative also act by increasing the cyclic AMP level, means it includes the GS types of the pathway. Question number 12, which PG derivative used in postpotum hemorrhage? Option number A, carboprost. Option number B, eproprostenol. Option number C, dinoprostenol. Option number D, none of this above. Actually, what do you mean by the post-protam hemorrhage? When, in case of the cut of the placenta, okay, heavy types of the bleeding occurs. So, this is called as the post-protam hemorrhage. Option number A, carboprost. Option number B, eproprostenol. Option number C, dinoprostenol. Option number D, none of this above. So the right answer is carboprost. Option number A, right, carboprost. Carboprost is one type of PG. Carboprost is one type of PG1 derivative. So which is used to treat in the postpartum to control the postpartum hemorrhage. <laughs> Question number 13. Brown pigmentation of the iris is the main side of a cup. Option number A, carboprost. Option number B, latinoprost. Option number C, bimatoprost. Option number D, both A and C. Actually, the right answer is option number B, latinoprost. Because latinoprost is one type of the PGF2 alpha derivative, which, which is used for the treatment of the glaucoma. In this case, if when excessive use of the latinoprost, or PGF2 alpha derivative, it produces the brown pigmentation of the iris or blurred vision. So the right answer is latinoprost. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 14. The cis LT receptor antagonist. Cis means cis means cystenyl. LT means leukotriene. So the cystenyl leukotriene receptor antagonist ka naam kya hai? Option number A Montelukast. Option number B, Jaffir Lucas. Option number C, Jailuton. Option number D, both A and B. Actually, Montelukas, Jaffir Lucas is the right answer because both, because Montelukas and Jaffir Lucas belongs to the group. Actually, actually, leukotriene inhibitor includes the two types of pathway. Number one, some antagonist, some leukotriene antagonist also inhibit the synthesis of the leukotrienes. In another way, some important leukotriene antagonist also block the binding of the receptor site. Okay, so the Montelukast and Jaffil Lucast also block the cis LT type receptor. So it is the example of cis LT type receptor antagonist. But Jiluton is the inhibitor of the synthesis of the leukotriene. So the right answer is both A and B. Question number 15. Which enzyme responsible for the synthesis of the PG? PG means prostaglandin. Option number A, phospholipase A2. Option number B, COX2, cyclooxygenase 2. Option number C, isomerase. Option number D, all of this above. Actually, the right answer is option number D, all of this above. Because... Now we see the synthesis of the postaglandin. First, at first, phospholipid to arachidonic acid. By the help of enzyme, phospholipid A2. Okay. Next, arachidonic acid to postaglandin synthesis. Means PGH2 derivative. 
पीजि जी टू डेरिवेट सो एसिडनिक एसिड टू पोस्ट ग्लैंड इन बै द हेल्प अफ एंजाइम कक्स टू मीन सैक्लोक्सिजें टू दें फ्रम द पीजि डी टू टू पीजि एच टू बै द हेल्प अफ एंजाइम आईसोम ओके सो दिस फसफोल एज ए टू एंड कक्स टू एंड आईसोम इज थ्री एंजाइम्स आर रेसपन्सिबल फर द सिंथेसिस अफ पोस्टा ग्लैंड इन सो द रईट एनसार इज अपन नम्बर डी अल अफ दिस एव क्वेश्चन नम्बर सिक्सटीन एल टी बी फोर इज प्रड्यूसड इन लिकोटर एंड बीफोर टाइप सबसटेंस प्रड्यूस इन अपशन नम्बर ए योसिनोफिल अपशन नम्बर बी न्यूट्रोफिल अपशन नम्बर सी आरबिस अपशन नम्बर डी प्लेलेट द रईट एनसार इज निट्रोफिल एल टी बी फोर इज प्रड्यूस जेनारे इन द निट्रोफिल क्वेश्चन नम्बर सेवेंटीन हुईच लिकोट्राइन प्रड्यूस द कार्डियक डिप्रेशन इट इज रिमेम्बर दैट अपशन नम्बर ए एल टी सी फोर अपशन नम्बर बी एल टी बी फोर अपशन नम्बर सी एल टी इ फोर अपशन नम्बर डी अल अफ दिस एव सो इट इज रिमेम्बर दैट एल टी सी फोर एंड एल टी डी फोर टाइप लिकोट्राइन्स जेनारे प्रेजेंट इन हार्ट हुईज प्रड्यूस द रिड्यूस द मायोकार्डियल कन्ट्रैक्टिलिटी एंड माय मैं एल टी सी फोर टाइप एंड एल टी डी फोर टाइप रिड्यूस द मायोकार्डियल कन्ट्रैक्टिलिटी एंड रिड्यूस the coronary blood flow so ltc4 and ltd4 type leukotriens also produce the cardiac depression so the right answer is option number a ltc4 question number 18 the important side effect of the carboprost the important side effect of one types of prostaglandin derivative carboprost option number a pulmonary hypertension option number b postpartum hemorrhage option number c eclampsia option number d none of the above so the right answer is pulmonary hypertension the increase of the pressure of pulmonary okay the important side of the uh, side effect of the carboprost is option number is the right answer pulmonary hypertension hypertension sorry question number 19 which type of the cox enzyme found in inflammatory conditions option number a cox1 option number b cox2 option number c both option d none so the actually Cox enzyme is generally two types, Cox one and Cox two. This Cox one is present in any tissue, any place of the body, but Cox two present in the some special condition means it also found in inflammatory cases or inflammatory condition. So the right answer is option number B. Cox two is generally found in inflammatory condition. Question number last question is question number twenty. Given example of the leukotriene inhibitor have both anti-asthmatic and anti-inflammatory effect. Option number A Zylutan. Option number B Jaffer Lucast. Option number C Monte Lucast. Option number D both B and C. So the right answer is option number A Zylutan. Zylutan is one type of the leukotriene synthesis inhibitor which also have anti-asthmatic and anti-inflammatory effect. Anti-asthmatic means. it used in the treatments of the bronchial asthma okay because leukotriene is one types of the inflammatory substance which is responsible for the producers of the bronchial asthma but zylutan also inhibit the synthesis of the leukotriene okay so it is used as anti asthmatic and it also produce against the inflammatory condition so it is one types of anti inflammatory the right answer is zylutan So please like share and subscribe this video